to have it in YouTube. I'm gonna play. Um, playing a another list of rooms, room productions. Um, yeah, it's not a Yuri on list, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so three baffling ends. Uh, four sensor, two omen of the sea, two search for his comta, three nurse set part of veils, two saw coming, four absorb, three cast out, three wrath of god, one doom scar, four to fairy, three shark typhoon, one dream crawler, three castle iron veils, three plains, four island, four glacial, uh, four hollow found, four hedge gate pathway, three, three fields of green. So this list is basically card for card, except for the authority of the consoles, which I don't have, but Groom was fine with. Um, his list had a rest in peace in a cage in the main. I swapped those with the sideboard with his permission. And I brought in his sideboard Narset because he only had two in the list, so now there's three. And then I just added a second search. And I brought in the two saw comings that he had in the sideboard. And I put those in the main. So, yeah, that's all. The sideboard is basically his sideboard. Three rest in peace, one grab digger's cage. I added a third rest in peace and a second timely reinforcements. Three Dovin's Veto, three Mystical Disputes, a Brazen Borrower, and two Doom Scar. I will link his initial list in the comment section or in the description. But that that's his deck basically. So the only changes I made were just like I don't have authority and I don't have irrigated farmland, so I'm playing the hinge gate. <laughs> Those are the only changes I made. I'm even playing Baffling it. I prefer Declaration and Stone, as you all know. And over Sensor, I prefer Memory Lapse. Memory Lapse has been an amazing two-mana counterspell. Um, it is one of the cards that's responsible for Control doing, doing so well. So, to me, playing Sensor, a card that I personally have never liked, I don't really get why you would play Sensor over Memory Lapse. But, I'm just going to play his list as is, as best I can. I, I put... The rest in peace, like I said, and the Graf Digger's Cage in the sideboard. And I think the reason he had those main is because he mostly plays best of one. And in that format, it makes total sense to have those in the main deck. So we're going to try this out and see how it goes. I tried playing Blue Black the other night. As a, another subscriber commented on me never playing two color decks other than Blue White. It's because I think they suck. And I lost a fair amount of rank playing Blue Black. So, and then I haven't played since then. Yeah, I'm not playing Blue Black again. It's terrible. It does everything worse than Esper or Blue White. Blue Red, maybe. I think Blue Red has enough tools that you could justify um, using it. I don't want to counter this, but I might as well counter this. I have an absorbent hand, an R set, I got a, things to do. Alright, so we see this paying off a lot. Where this, um, what am I playing? Sparky. Am I playing against a bot? I, I don't think I am. Is that what I did? Did I queue into like a, a bot or something? Mono black? There's no rank? What the hell? Alright, I queued into the wrong thing apparently. I don't know. Yeah, it's talking. What the fuck? Yeah, okay. I don't know what happened there. Um, <clears throat> bot match. Oh, I meant to click historic ranked. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, wait. This is best of one. I didn't hit traditional. Oh well. We're gonna throw this in there, and then we're gonna go back to best of three. But yeah, I think blue black is terrible, and I'm never playing it again. That's uh that's what I'm thinking. Um blue red I'll try eventually, because I think it has enough unique tools, like I said, that I think you could make it work. But blue black is just inferior to blue white and inferior to Esper. Okay, real deck. Best of one deck. 
Alright, this should be a good matchup, even though I'm not exactly configured particularly well for it. I just need to hit one of my counter spells. This is a matchup where Sensor is a very uh, terrible card because they only have to pay one. And yeah, this just ends the game when they have a threat in the graveyard. And they're doing Emergent Ultimatum as well. Yay. What a combo deck. What a, what a deck. Just remember, people, Uro is too good for the format. This, totally fine. This and the Velumachus, it's all good. This and Faithless Looting, perfectly fine. Uro is the card that was the problem through and through. Okay. At least I have a counter spell for Unburial Rights if he goes to get something. Oh, fuck me. Are you serious? God damn. Like, that's such bullshit. That is so much bullshit. God damn. Yeah, sure. This is insane. Are either of these good? I'm playing Teferi next turn, so I'm gonna say no. I mean, yeah, Narset's good, but, um, we can't. Alright, change of plans. We're gonna take this out and then hold absorb. The last thing I wanna do is tap out for Teferi and then die. And I can scry if I'm not gonna need this. So, it's not like I don't have anything to do. What is he getting? Scholar of the Lost Trove. Enters the battlefield, you may cast and target instant or sorcery or artifact card in your graveyard without paying mana cost. Put in your graveyard this turn, exile. Well, no extra turn bullshit? No thanks. Alright, well, I'll play Teferi now. Hope to draw a counter spell. Because he can just, uh. Oh no, he already did that. Cool, no counter spell? Nice. Well, let's see if we lose or not. Yeah, I really hate best of one. This format's incredibly degenerate. Oh, so, um, given that Wizards has killed the, uh, the pro magic potential, I'm probably just gonna play a lot of Brawl. Until I can get my damn PC to record, um, or to get, to get uh, Streamlabs to record my uh, laptop screen so I can start playing Modern when MH2 comes out. But given that there's literally no point trying to get to Mythic anymore, other than like, oh, I got to Mythic, I'm just going to play Brawl because Brawl is a lot of fun and control decks do well there because control doesn't need multiples of X card, they just need cards that fill roles. So, yeah, I'm probably going to do that after uh, this video is done. We'll see how that goes. Go ahead and pop one of these. I don't really want any more lands. I need to play Narset and hit a counter spell. Why didn't you use really? Why didn't you? Alright, well, we did. We hit one counter spell. Out of. Well, I guess we hit two. Alright. Guess I can make a 4 4. Hopefully, I don't have a way to kill it. 
This is why you want Rest in Peace in your main deck if you're playing best of one. Really need a counter spell in our set. Let's go. Give me one. That can hit a threat at instant speed. Let's try to get him dead. This is also the kind of scenario where having Shark Typhoon helps out a lot as well. When you queue into these decks in best of one, you're, you're going to want Shark Typhoon. Shark Typhoon and probably Rest in Peace. Oh boy. Extra turn spell for the opponent. That's nice. I'm going to exile it. Oh, that's probably even worse for me. I'm still gonna exile this. Now we just lose to this. That's neat. Not really. They're not even playing green. Fuck it. If he wants to do that, he can wait. I'll give him those. He can't do anything with those, so. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, you cast it? Oops, my bad. Whatever. <laughs> so he gets a Sphinx back. And then he casts Alrin's Epiphany, right? Whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if the if it sounds like noisy and shit, I have the window open because it's a nice and evening, and I live in an area where every other asshole has a motorcycle, and all they do is rev that shit as loud as possible. So, but it's so nice out. I want the window open. Yeah, it resolves. I'm just gonna smack it with, with this. Uh huh. Yeah. Extra turn spells. Yeah. Do I? Yeah, I'm just gonna do it now. In case he has counter spells, just get the 5 5 out of the way. I'm pretty sure it's game over. But, you know. Just wait for the next fucking giant haymaker. I'm not even fucking doing this. Alright, yeah, you won. Congratulations. You, your bullshit was mightier than what I'm doing. Yeah, see how much rank I lost? I lost like a whole rank and a half playing blue black control the other night. Trying to record that. So, there we go. Blue white rev. I didn't even play that. That was the last deck I worked on, I was going to try, but... I don't know, I'm not liking the format anymore, to be honest. It was cool at first, but like, when everybody was trying to find what was the best decks. But uh, now, everything's like, consolidated, and it's just kind of like, boring and shit. Now that everybody has like their deck list zeroed in and optimized, it's so hard to play control because like we got better tools, but we're still weaker than every fucking thing else. So yeah, it's rough. It felt more powerful at the start than what it really was because people weren't optimized. I know it's common for people to say control decks are 
better at the uh, once the format is solved, but I, I disagree. If you know what you're doing with a control deck, um, you can very much take advantage of people who are just kind of like screwing around with what their uh, what their deck should be when the format gets shaken up. But yeah, our cards are like really weak compared to everyone else's. Definitely underpowered. <sighs> this is where I would love to have my blue sun zenith. It's pretty good against these decks, but so is Dream Trawler if you can keep it alive. So I need to hit something like that. Search is going to be good too. I don't want that. I do want my sixth land though, and if I hit another land I can just toss it with Search. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Yeah, that can go in the graveyard. I want spells. There we go. I'm not going to suspend it or foretell it, whatever the hell, because I'm just going to play it as a 3 mana counter. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. I was going to toss this anyway because I want to keep this around in case they uh, um, escape this asshole. I'm gonna crack this. Oh, that's good, you didn't have anything. And I'm just gonna flip this, because I'm at six now. I just wanna flip this. So next card is going to the graveyard. Oh, fuck you. Jesus Christ. Uh, it's, uh, maybe it's time to stop playing Surge for his counter. Dead fucking serious. If people are just gonna be doing shit like that, I want to have the Wrath in case I need it. So, yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of graveyard hate. Search might have to go. Yeah, that's fine. Certainly not the worst thing they could throw at me. I'm gonna take a chance and put that in the graveyard. They have not played anything out yet, so. I really wanna get this flipped. <clears throat> uh, so far, my personal favorite control deck in the format has been Esper. It's got the most tools to deal with the most amount of bullshit. So I like that about it. Okay, I'll keep one Wrath. Jeskai's alright, but it struggles against any creature deck that can get their creatures above 3 health. Like, it's really bad against those. The combo version <clears throat> is very susceptible to graveyard hate and the taxing effects of, like, green-white. And it, uh, like... <sighs> It just feels kind of bad to me. And I've noticed that it's kind of fallen out of favor as well for a traditional Jeskai. And I'm not very fond of traditional Jeskai, so I'm assuming it's not worth playing. Uh, to me, anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with Esper primarily when I play Constructed. And just focus on that list. Blue-white's nice, but I like to take blue-white out every once in a while. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, I can't even counter that because I gotta deal with Croxa, so... Whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna counter it because if I let it resolve, I have to discard a card. cycle this. I have three in the deck, so it's probably fine. Don't need any more lands. Thank you. Alright, Teferi.
Go ahead and get rid of this. Smack them. Currently, I'm not that worried about um, Crocs up, so if he has another one, it's not a big deal. Anger to kill a shark. No, I'm alright with that. Um, nah, I prefer the Theros arc. Yeah, check it. I'd rather have the counter spell. That worked out well. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, gonna make a 5-5 five, five shark. So we have the 6. Almost guaranteed that top card is getting chucked. Fuck. Now it'll probably be a Teferi or something. I have three of those that can go, and I will transform my search for his counter. Will you stop giving me lands, please? I'm gonna look for a Narset. Do I want to? You know what? No. They have Thoughtseize. I want to be able to hold my Absorb, so I'll just do this at the end of the turn. All that hits is uh, absorb, so I will use my absorb to gain three life. Destroy all creatures with mana value three or less. I don't care. Do you have a Croxa? You're gonna unearth your Croxa? One, two, three, four? Yeah, he is. I'll pitch the land, take three, and then cast out Croxa. Yeah, that's cool. Don't care. take that just in case because like I have this to make tokens it's not like you can't deal with a shark token so this is my proactive thing this will be my reactive take that's, that's why I just take this because I'm, I can already be proactive with this if I need to be and he has a lot of spot removal I'm going to counter because I'm going to discard it anyway so I might as well gain the three life for Planeswalker. Dream Trawler, that's, that's a thing. Pitch the card they know about. Each opponent loses life equal to the number of cards in their graveyard. Ow. Make a dude. Make a dude. Game. Hello. Hello, game. Why did you take half an hour to do that, game? Fucking game. Teferi, please. Oh, Narset. Alright, I guess it's better than nothing. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, sure. I'll take another Narset, I guess. Alright, cool. Jesus Christ. How many Teferi would we use? One Teferi. Two Teferi. There's still two Teferis. Yeah, probably lost. Thoughtseize, motherfucker. Hmm. That's probably got an answer for Narset then, or just doesn't care. Yeah, oh, mm, fucking get rid of Wrath of God. Narset can find me more stuff. Which is arguably more important. Also, shuts off Faithless Lootings if he has them. I don't think he's used them yet. But... I would have saved that for a uh, Teferi. <sighs> I'm gonna play Narset. That saved me one mana. Effectively, if I. There he is. Now we got a Teferi. Still got one more. We're gonna tuck this some bitch. Attack the opponent in face. And then pass the turn. With two Planeswalkers. A search for his contact activation. And a, a token maker. <sighs> Scribe it to the top. That's probably not good for me. Eh. Alright. That's whatever. I got another one. Oh, there's no commit to memory in this list. Which I'm not sure how I feel about. I play that in all of mine. And have been since like 2018. But... See how it goes. I really want Elixir of Immortality in this format. I would make my fucking day. Mm, might as well take the shark. Play the shark typhoon. They shouldn't be able to blow up enchantments, but, you know. Oh, look, right on the dream trawler. Nice. No attacks. On tap. Sure. Got the Dream Trawler. If he doesn't have a Thought Seize, that'll be really, really good. If he has a Thought Seize, I'm probably screwed. He's so got this. Gain control of target creature until I turn. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, oh, shit. God damn it. I'm so sick of these fucking steel effects, dude. Fucking hell. Why do I bother? God damn it. Alright, well, still have the Dream Trawler, hopefully. I'm gonna keep that in hand. Play the Dream Trawler. Just fucking concede, asshole. No attacks. End of turn. I have two things to pitch. Can't kill it. Should be good. Yeah, discard a card, uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. I know. Get rid of the Wrath. Really don't want to blow up my own Dream Trawler. For fairly obvious reasons. Alright, do we win? I think we win. We get to keep the Dream Trawler, we win. Alright. Sure, I'll take that. I'll cycle that. Probably gonna run out of cards. I'm out of Teferi's. Yep, Teferi is down. Okay. We're gonna save that. Yeah, might as well. I'm gonna try to kill him in one hit, but I, I can't kill him. Alright. Well, i activate this first, just to be sure. Do I have any way to draw cards? No. Do have a cast out, though. Which is pretty good. Smack opponent in the face. Oh, you're not attacking. Hold on a second. Yeah, you're gonna attack. I can cycle this. <laughs> Do I want to... Do I care about Angrath that much? What are the odds that I... No, my next card's a land. Alright, we're not doing that. Alright, we're gonna play this, get rid of Angrath, and then just absorb whatever else he's doing. Oh yeah, and I make a shark too. Alright, we won.
Looked a little iffy, but we got there. Sideboard. Do I want anything? I don't want to bring in Rest in Peace just for Croxa. He didn't even show me any lootings. Or maybe there was one looting. I don't remember. No, the looting was from the the brief foray into best of one. So, yeah, we're going to just leave it the deck alone. My problem with uh, bringing Rest in Peace in for, like, one thing, like a Croxa, is that your opponent just kills you with something else, and you have a dead card in your library. That's why I don't bring in uh, Rest in Peace against... Jund in Modern, for example. Yes, they utilize their graveyard, but they are more than capable of killing you without it. And if you don't hit the card at the right time, it doesn't do you any good. It's a completely dead card to play mid and late game. And they have answers to it. And this deck has answers to it as well. Um, Feed the Swarm, and there's another one that kills enchantments. I don't know if they'll bring those in, but they could have them. And Rest in Peace doesn't look to be doing much. Like... I'll bring Rest in Peace in if it shuts a deck off. That's the only, like, if a deck just has, like, mild graveyard synergies, I'm not bringing in Rest in Peace. This is another reason I really like Esper. It can play incidental graveyard hate in the main deck. Kaya, for example. Very good card against these types of decks. And it doesn't hurt its, um, consistency. So, we've seen a bunch of times where I've had this card early, and it's just so much better than an irrigated farmland. I know you can cycle the farmland, but to me personally, it's not worth the tap land. Uh, Hengegate's just better. All the bullshit discard spells, yay. At least my opponent mulliganed a bunch. Yeah, look at Mind Stone. I thought about running Mind Stone, but eh. not in this deck because it wasn't in the list, but in like the Rev deck. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna want these cards. I I'd have the Baffling in. I don't. I don't know. I have a couple more. I'm just gonna take Narset because if I leave Cast out. Like, I'm playing Narset for sure, right? Like, I'm just going to slam Narset and then down tick. Like, the cast out, I'm afraid, is just going to sit in my hand and not do anything. Um, I do have enough mana for a Teferi, but I'm going to take Search. I only have two Search, and I have four Teferi, and I have to wait two turns to play Teferi anyway. This way, if this doesn't get Thought Seized or something, I can just play it next turn. And hopefully take over the game with it. Alright. I'm not even going to search with Narset first. That is 100% worth doing in my opinion. Like, see, there's a cast out. I wish this had flash. If this had flash, it would be really good. White doesn't have any good spot removal in this format. Seriously needs Path to Exile or the Swords of Plowshares that they put in the format but banned immediately for some dumb fucking reason. I'd say unban Swords. And unban Counterspell too. Counterspell did nothing wrong. They have all basics, so we're just gonna put that down. And then pass. Crack this. Try to flip Surge as soon as possible. Oh, they really don't have anything. Nice. I hate these types of red-black discard decks. Any discard deck, they're miserable to play against. And I hate them. Do I want to leave Sensor? No, because I'm going to slam Dream Trawler. Six land Dream Trawler. I could have left Sensor on top to discard it. Put that in the graveyard, though. That's definitely something I should have considered doing. All right. Death 
touch. Yeah, I can get rid of that. Just hold my absorb. Just because I can. I don't really need an Narset. See? That's another thing too. If I had played Narset, he would have just killed her. The fresh one. So that worked out well. Game two, nowhere near as competitive as game one. Arguably because I didn't draw as poorly, but yeah, good. Good stuff. They didn't draw as well that game. So, back and forth. Whatever. Those decks aren't, like, oppressive or anything. I just find them miserable to play against, and I just dislike the style in general. But when I complain about it, I'm not implying that it's overpowered or anything. I just don't like it. I don't even have a problem with Tainted Pact if it wasn't for Thought Distortion. I honestly think if they just banned Thought Distortion, the deck would be fine. I don't care if a combo deck beats the absolute shit out of aggro. I think aggro needs some real hard checks in this format. And Tainted Pact combo does that pretty well. The fact that green and red can't interact with it is totally fine because green and red shouldn't be interacting with anything. That's not what they're about. My problem is when they can just go and get a, a thought distortion and end you with it when you're playing a control deck. Because control should be the combo police. And when they can just do that, like... Thought distortion's the biggest mistake that Wizards has made ever. Besides maybe Veil of Summer. But at least with Veil of Summer, I can understand what they were trying to do. They were trying to make it so... Um, green decks didn't get stomped entirely by removal and counter spells. But it's like they forgot that they've made so many insanely powerful green cards. Veil of Summer would have been totally fine in Magic like 10 years ago. Alright, I'm not going to play that again. They're clearly on a control deck of sorts. So the last thing I want is to get Memory Lapse twice. This is why I greatly prefer Memory Lapse to Sensor. Like, it's an actual counter spell, And being set back like that really does make a difference. Like, it, it'll really mess people up. Not all of the time, but a fair enough of the time that it's... Better than sensor, in my opinion. I'm gonna bottom cast out, and I'll I will put the land on the bottom too. I have my fourth land drop. Yeah, we're good. I can always cycle that if I need to. There's the shark typhoon. This is where shark typhoon really pays off against the other control decks. This looks like straight blue-red, so I'm expecting Gear Hulk and Opus bullshit. Eh, yeah, go ahead. Brainstorm away. I don't care. I mean, I do, but there's not really anything I can do about it. I'm not going to waste an Absorb on a Brainstorm. I can't even use my sensor here. I'm gonna cycle this. It's basically worthless now. I could probably get away with slamming the fairy. 
There's no one mana counter spells yet. Mystical Dispute is kind of, but this is game one, so I doubt it's in the main. Although I suppose blue red could justify it. But there's no point in like playing around that. There is definitely consideration in not playing Teferi because my hand at, you know, just playing the draw go game is decent. It's not horrible. But blue red has a, a difficulty in dealing with planeswalkers. If they're about to tap out for a Niv Mizzet, I couldn't do anything about that anyway because he can't be countered. So basically, it doesn't really matter what I do. If they have a, the, the Niv Mizzet bomb, then. I just kind of lose to that. If I don't play Teferi. Yeah, they have Niv. God damn it. Alright, so they didn't do anything with it. So, I can tuck it. I'm just gonna slam. This is my only chance of trying to, like, beat them. Just play Shark Typhoon and then blast spells. Try to flood the board with tokens. I literally cannot beat Niv. So. Probably gonna lose to Fairy, but whatever. Expressive iteration. Alright, they can't cast Niv. Um, I like this card. It's actually a. Um, it's not your typical blue red cantrip. You actually have to put some thought into getting the most out of it. So, I like it. It's a cool card. I don't know if there's room for it in like Jeskai, but it's cool. Blue red, absolutely. Play four of them. All right. So maybe he'll buck up, and I won't have to deal. With... No, he did. Yeah, I gotta deal with Niv next turn. I can't really deal with Niv next turn, so. Got to, got to try to make tokens. Land, omen, make a token. Ow. No. Um, I'll keep the counter spell in case there's something that I can deal with. With the counter spell. Like, let's say he goes to bolt my Teferi or something. And I can use that to protect him. But yeah, Niv, like, I can tuck it next turn. But that's all I can do, so. I'm gonna censor this. I mean, cycle this, censor. That's what I meant. I'm gonna cycle the censor. <sighs> Maybe hit a cast out, that'll get rid of Niv. We're gonna time warp. All right. Um, he's probably got a counter spell. If it's a two mana counter spell, then sensor is not worthless. So that'd be nice. Memory lapsed me, bro. Oh, no, he's just gonna concede. All right, sweet. Even better. All right. What can we expect? More Niv Mizets. Yay. Uh, Baffling End's gonna come out because I have cast out as catch all spot removal if I need it. That can come in. Some of those. These sensors can come out for Dovin's Veto. And, um. I didn't see Opus. So I'm not gonna, like, bring in Rest in Peace. I don't even know that I would bring in, like. Yeah, I don't think I would bring Rest in Peace in either way. Maybe. But I didn't see any of that stuff, so I'm not worried about it.
Narset's good, cast out's good, absorb is good, and the mana doesn't suck. So that's a keep. Yeah, we're on the draw, but eh. That's another reason I like this hand, because Narset's good on the play or the draw. Counter spells, these ones anyway, are not good on the draw. We need counter spell. Just plain old counter spell. <clears throat> and swords to plowshares. Because then I'm telling you my list would be uh, blue white, four counter spell, four memory lapse, four absorb, and then for removal, I would play three wrath of god, one doom scar, and then four swords. And I wouldn't worry about this because I have efficient counter magic. That would be amazing. And then Planeswalkers would beat Fairy Narset because she's amazing. And then, um, yeah, I wouldn't bother with trying to, like, kill people. So no Shark Typhoons, no, um, Dream Trawlers for me. It would just be, like, the Planeswalker Drago control that I usually play with Swords to Plowshares. And hopefully, eventually, Supreme Verdict. Will that happen? Uh, no, probably not. I do think that they will unban Counterspell. Probably within like the next couple months. They'll just be like, oh yeah, this card is in no way a problem. And um, they'll unban it. I want both of these. Both of these are game ending. I'm probably not ever going to resolve this, but I want it. Next turn, we're going to play land, Narset, hold Mystical Dispute. Assuming that I hit my blue lands. If I don't need to counter anything, I crack this to try and hit blue mana so I can go Narset with Mystical Dispute. Easy. Easy play pattern. Mm, search is not bad. I know I don't want another expensive card in my hand. Yeah, I'll take the search. I know it's not my initial plan, but search for his Kanta is very good in the matchup. I can get my blue mana off of this, potentially. I'm just gonna play search and try to hold Mystical Dispute. I imagine they counter it though. Does my hand... I am gonna counter a counter spell of theirs. Oh, they didn't have one? All right. They have one, they just decided it wasn't worth fighting over at Search for his combo. Yeah, Magma Opus. Alright, hopefully they tap out for a Gear Hulk. That would be really, really nice. Primal Amulet, huh? Alright. I haven't seen that in forever. Literally since, uh, oh, I don't know, 2017 standard when I played a Grixis Amulet combo deck. That was interesting. Um, graveyard, I have two counter spells in hand. I don't need that. Hmm. Narset's gonna be good, but then I don't have any counter magic. I'd, but right now I only have. Okay, I do actually have counter magic. Do I? Now, if I crack this, I have exactly three mana up. Hmm. That's a tough spot. Yeah, double or triple Arden Veil is being a bit annoying right now. Alright, I can make a shark token. So I'll go ahead and do that. Damn. With this in the graveyard, if I go shields down and they just slam a gear hulk, I kinda lose. Time warp. How much mana? He has three mana up. This is gonna get countered. Yeah, alright, we lose. Big time. I, I don't have blue. I can't activate search. Yeah. I mean, field. Yeah, we lose. Um, fuck. Oh well. At least now I know what they're doing. 
for sure. It just looked like they were an awkward blue-red control deck, but now they're a blue-red combo control deck, which is, you know, nice, not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, that's really not that bad. I can answer that. All right. So that's all they did with him. That's cool. That is cool. All right, we now we draw our third blue mana. Yeah, that figures. Mystical Dispute doesn't save him. How did he... What? No, you did not have a mana open. How did you crack that for two mana? He doesn't cheapen spells. Oh, that cheapens spells. Okay, well, it's been a long time since I've seen that card, so... You know. Yeah, I know. Do your fucking... Yeah. Uh, this card... This card is so annoying. Anything that can't be countered is incredibly annoying. Yeah, that one. Get that one. Svetlin Vilinov. Alright. Opponent didn't do anything. That's what I like to see. Um, yeah, library. I can play Narset without tapping out of a counter spell. Once that flips, it's basically game over. First thing he casts, it's, it's done. We lose. I do have Field of Ruin, so he only gets one thing. So, the next one kills us, though, for sure. Sublime Epiphany. Oh, uh, no. Because that's going to bounce cast out, and then Niv comes back, and then we're really fucked. Alright, so the next spell he casts is going to probably kick my ass pretty effectively. So, that sucks. Shark Typhoon seems a lot better than Wrath. Can't field. Yeah, this is not good, and I probably lose. Like, even a time warp, that gives him two extra turns, and then he could potentially draw into something to kill me with. So it's not a good spot. That was the... That was best case scenario. But now I don't have a way to kill it, so... Yes. Okay, I have a way to kill it. Will it work? Alright, it worked. Alright, now I can feel this. I have to get that out of here. Gonna get some blue mana. Alright. We've, we've turned things around slightly. Next turn I have to ferry or a bunch of sharks, depending on what I want to do. Dream Trawler is almost guaranteed not going to come down until I'm sure I can clear the way for it. I don't mind playing one of my four Teferis into a counter spell, potentially at this point in the game. But most likely all I'm going to do is cycle Shark Typhoon and make a 5-5. Blue Red is going to have trouble dealing with that. That's fuck. Search. Alright. Alright, well they're tapped out, basically. Can I pay for... No, I cannot. This lets me pay for a Mystical Dispute, which is the only counter spell they could have. So I'm gonna tuck this. I, I know I could have made a 6-6 six, six Shark, but I would rather not let that stick around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they transform it. That's fine. If they activate it, they can't get this guy back. Yeah, this card's annoying as hell. Although, what are they casting that's five room? Like, besides, they're really gonna play this to make Magma Opus uncounterable? I guess it does um, cost one less, so. That's a thing, I guess. I don't know. Opponent's deck seems unrefined. I've played against Blue Red Control before, and it's usually really tough to deal with. Alright, that's annoying, but not unbeatable.
So I could play Dream Trawler. If I play Dream Trawler, I'm still setting myself up to walk into... Um, what do you call it? Mystical Dispute. I'm going to cycle this and make a 6-6. Six, six. Excuse me. Come on. Live. Oh. All right, that's that's actually fine. Nib doesn't matter right now because you can't do anything with it. Do, I'm not even gonna do it. I'm just gonna wrath. So we'll we'll activate search for its content. Get another typhoon. Game should be about wrapped up. Kill all of the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Draw your card. I don't care that much. It's still annoying, but not as bad as where I was prior to that, so. All right, well, scratch that to hell and back. Now we're in a bad spot, because there's another motherfucking nib. My opponent's really goddamn good at drawing those. I wish I was that good at drawing those. We're gonna cast it out. Cast out can't be hit by Mystical Dispute. Oh, you didn't have any bullshit there, opponent? Cool. Yeah, I know Shark Typhoon can kind of outmuscle it, sort of. Oh, I thought he had another one. I was like, Jesus Christ, dude. Um, that's actually really annoying. Let's tap him really low. the cast out but I want a Teferi Tuck or just hard cast it. No, I don't want to hard cast the Typhoon cast out he makes another token treasure he's got three mana up and then I play I can't do both actually <sighs> hmm maybe I just make a 6-6 six, six, honestly Yeah, I'm just gonna hold up the 6-6. Six, six. Bug it. He shouldn't have any removal for that. Um, Alright, definitely making a 6-6. Six, six. He didn't attack. Alright. Now, he has no profitable way to deal with this. Or he shouldn't. Anyway. He almost guarantee has a two for one himself. Does he have a tail's end? That would suck. If you have a good way to stop the 6-6 six, six without spending two burn spells, you do it. Come on, opponent. Any day now. Let's go. Cool. Even better. Actually, alright, now... Alright, okay. Cast out. I'm pretty sure he's got a counter spell. He didn't attack me. I know he has memory lapse, but that's not the kind of counter spell I'm talking about. I'm talking like some other two mana counter. A rewind, huh? Hmm. You know what? That's okay. So if I play Teferi, Teferi gets memory lapse, goes to the top of my library, and it's bad times all around. Or I just leave up his content and threaten to kill him with my 6 6. 
I can't race him right now. So, yeah. We're going to leave up the Typhoons. Or do I play the Teferi? Yeah, I'm just going to play the Teferi. Let's get this out of his hand. I took game one. I have board control. My hand is almost certainly better than theirs. So go ahead and counter my Teferi. I think that's fine. It's not even a hard counter. It goes on top. It's not like I don't want to draw the fairies, so. Specifically, this scenario is where memory lapse is worse than sensor. No attacks. We're just going to hold back. Threaten to eat his dragon with a giant flying shark. As stupid as that sounds. Because it's really fucking stupid. But whatever. This dragon looks more like, I don't know, a cat. It looks like a furry antlered cat with wings, I guess. It is kind of furry looking. A little bit. I don't know why he has antlers, though. Strange. Yep, don't care. Do your thing. Hit me. Throw it at me. I'm pretty sure my hand is better. I just need to finagle myself into a position where I can stick the Dream Trawler and take over the game. The 5 health is very good because it eats the dragon and then if he goes to hit it with burn I just toss something. Another dragon. Alright. Alright. I accept your challenge opponent. I'm gonna make another, another shark. Yep, some tokens. That's cool. That's cool. Eat the dragon. That was a clean feast right there for my shark. Clean eating. Dragon meat, good. Are you gonna bolt it? If he bolts it, that's great, because then I'm almost guaranteed... Well, I guess he has these, but... I think the safest bet is just... Oh. He's done. Opponent is so dead, dude. I think I just hold up for another Typhoon, right? I mean, I could jam at the ferry, but he's got four cards and four mana up. He's probably got like a rewind, which nets him two mana. I am just gonna hold my sharks up. I mean, he clearly can't deal with them. If he could have killed this, he absolutely would have. Tricks. I, I don't even think I care. I have uh, a literal shark storm. I don't even think... I mean, Niv would be bad if he can chain a bunch of spells, but does he really have the fourth Niv? I mean, that would be insane. That would be so goddamn greedy. What does that do? Create an XX blue and red weird creature token where X is the number of instant source cards in your graveyard. Then you may return an instant source card from your graveyard to your hand. I never actually thought I would see that card see any play anywhere. So what's he gonna get? Probably time warp. Oh. Can you play that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that might do it for him actually. Yeah, time warp, motherfuckers. I'm gonna get punked out by X return spell. Do I look for a counter? How many counter spells have I used? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I'm not really winning if I make a shark and jump on 11 11 and take four. Perfect. Alright. But now, I might be fine. What? Oh. Oh. I thought. Oh. Yeah. Alright, well, we're dead. I guess that's why it asked me if I was sure. That's so fucking obnoxious. Um. Alright, opponent does utilize the graveyard quite a bit. I don't really use my graveyard that much at all. So anything I can cut hurt. Like, cutting it off the graveyard hurts him a hell of a lot more than it does me. So we're gonna go ahead and bring in the three rips. That was a punt on my part. I totally forgot that that thing did that. 
To be honest, that's the first time I've ever seen that card in uh, competitive. I don't even see that card in standard in the blue red decks. So. to worry about discard spells which is nice so I get to slam a turn two rest in peace and that shuts off any kind of that bullshit Nivex mastery bullshit magma opus bullshit just shuts it all off so yay based on game one though I really did not think it was a good idea to bring in rest in peace on game two totally why we have the three rips now and because I'm on the play I don't even need to hold up a turn two counter spell because what's the worst he's going to do is play a search for his content that's never going to flip or an expressive iteration all right and he shouldn't have any way to get rid of this and now I just get to sit behind two counter spells and hope that Nib doesn't come down and do a lot of damage because now I have the answer for Nib too so it doesn't matter Okay, Niv still matters, but, you know, not as much. All right, now I can start making tokens rather than play Teferi. We're good to go, hopefully. Nimble Obstructionist. I did not know this card was in this set. Um, I kind of need to answer that, so I'm just going to counter it. I have effectively cut off most of what their deck does, so... Like, I, the really big swingy plays have been cut off. I'm not jamming to Fairy because he just gets countered, and I can make tokens, so we're going to do that. If he plays a Niv, I get to cast it out. Now I just get to smack him around with tokens. Hopefully, oh, tricks. Oh, yeah. Well, now I get to play my Teferi without too much trouble. I can't counter his shit anyway. Do I tuck Thrix or draw? I feel like if he has time warp, he just kind of beats me up really good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, tuck this. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, that was always a problem. A potential threat problem, whatever the hell. Alright, yeah, this matchup feels not great. Not great, not gonna lie. Feels pretty shit. When they get those flash bombs back to back like that, that's rough. That is really hard to deal with. Narset into Wrath of God, please. I guess I could cast out the gold span. But that's not even guaranteed because they get another token. Great. All right, yeah, Goldspan Dragon will just completely destroy me if I don't get rid of it. So this is like my only real option here. Yep. Memory lapse. Now they were. Oh, that's nice. That gives them two mana. Okay. Fuck. Uh... All right, we lost. God damn it. deal with this guy again and all I'm drawing is this and it's just game over. This does illustrate my point about rest in peace though. I mean granted their deck is a little more in on graveyard shenanigans but they can still kill you perfectly fine without it so. You just probably shouldn't sideboard it. Alright. Alright. We're done. 
I don't have any good way to deal with this. They're taking an extra turn. They're going to smack me and make more mana. They have Thrix. It's over. One and one. I feel like blue-white excels at beating up the green-white type of decks, and it's pretty good against the red-black decks. But against other control decks, it is it is disadvantaged, I would say. I'm going to keep this. Opponent goes first. I'm not going to keep this. Uh, I wish I had kept that. Oh, well. Um, field can get me another blue, but I have technically... These are all cantrips. Alright, Gruel. Might win. Probably get ran over, but. Because they're on a play. Gruel's always on the play. Almost uh, guaranteed. Alright, scavenging news. Yeah, that ain't too bad. I got. The sensor, if they play a 3 drop. Or the omen. So hopefully they'll play a 3 drop. Come on, curve out, curve out, Christopher Rush. Yeah, that's a neat little forest. What am I looking for? I don't know. Stuff. Not you, that's for sure. I'll take that. I'm gonna leave this alone though. I do want to try to get something with this sensor. Do I? Because then I can force him to play into the wrath, and I have two wraths. I'm gonna actually go ahead and get rid of this and cycle the sensor. I don't mind. Yeah, alright. I mean, like, if he had, like, Gruel Spellbreaker, all you had to do was play one more land, and then Sensor was useless anyway. So, I actually kind of like this. Now if he plays a bunch of little... Oh, fuck me. Why? Then you're not supposed to play that main board, opponent. You're really not. Son of a bitch. Hello, Teferi, how you doing? Mega Shark or play Ascanta? <sighs> Ascanta. They can get rid of a 2 2 shark pretty easily. All they gotta do is stomp it or whatever. I think even she can kill it, right? No, not if I do it at instant speed, but yeah. A 2 2 shark doesn't really do a whole lot for me. All it does is knock her down a bit. And that's even if we get, oh for fuck's sake, I'm not even doing this, I'm not doing this, I'm not playing against this bullshit. Ponza, no, land destruction shouldn't be a mechanic, I'm not playing against this, I refuse. Because all I'm going to do is get incredibly pissed off, and yeah, I'm not playing against Ponza. I absolutely, I'm not doing it, I refuse. Absolutely refuse to play against this deck. It's just, all it does is piss me off. I'm getting pissed off right now. Just seeing that first fucking stone rain. I'm not doing it. I don't care if it's not a good deck. I hate it. It shouldn't be a thing. Land destruction. Especially in these um, more limited formats. It's, it's just, it's egregious. It shouldn't exist. It's the most frustrating bullshit mechanic that they've ever devised. And it just shouldn't exist. You want to make an argument for it in modern? Fine. Or even legacy? But not, not here. No. It has no place here. All it does is piss people off. This is the blue-red guy again. This is, match is going to take forever. Shark Typhoon Cantrip lands. Yeah, I'll keep it. I know what I'm playing against. He probably knows what I'm playing because my name is pretty obvious. It, like, it stands out. that I want the cast out potentially for a big threat I 
I almost want to counter that. But they're gonna be they're gonna draw the cards anyway, those three cards. They have no way to shuffle away dead cards, so they're drawing dead for two turns, potentially. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that resolve. I gotta figure out how to switch my brainstorm art back to this one. Alright, they didn't play a land. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and fire off the counter spell. Alright, so they had a land. Search. Yeah, I'm not that worried about it. I'll make a 2-2 shark now. I don't want to... No, I'm going to make a shark. Yeah, because... I don't know that I want to play Teferi into a potential counter spell. They didn't have any counter spells game one last time, but... If I play Teferi and then they just respond with a Goldspan Dragon next turn, or a um, Nyx, or whatever the hell his name is, that's pretty bad. So I think... I'm just going to hold Teferi and then make a token. If I don't need to answer anything. Yeah, and I want to kill them, so I'm going to make a token rather than scry. Torrential motherfucking gear hole. Alright, well... Yeah, this is a bad matchup. They, these Gear Hulk decks are really bad matchups. So, that's that's nice. That's, uh, that we're running into them. That's really, really good. Not. But I get to eat the Gear Hulk, kill the Gear Hulk, whatever the hell. Smack him for three. And I can answer whatever he's doing with another cast out. Whatever else he does. Can answer that with a cast out. If he has the counter spell, I mean that's that's rough. That sucks for me if he does, but he didn't protect the Gear Hulk, and I don't think he would have Because it's so big, right? Like it's a five six. You would protect that over the dragon, right? No, oh, all right, we lost. Almost guaranteed, we lost. Just over. I can't outrace him. I'm probably not gonna get to kill the dragon. He gets card selection. Yeah, I think it's over. This was a declaration in stone. We could have answered the dragon. People have a, a weird aversion to that card for whatever reason. I do believe it's the spot removal spell you should play. That or Raven form. Either one's better than Baffling End. I don't care that Baffling End gives them... Or I don't care that declaration in stone gives them a card potentially. Like now, I, I just can't answer this and I, I die. I lost. I can't answer it. They have too many counter spells. I, I just can't get my removal through. I know they do graveyard stuff. I'm going to try to bring in rips. Just like it helps, but. I mean, it, it doesn't really help that much. Got it to fairy, bring in the brazen borrower. I need to leave Rass in because I literally have no way to beat Niv other than that. I'll leave in one search just in case. Yeah, like it still filters, so I'll go ahead and leave it in. 
And I'm on the uh, on the play. This is how it ends, huh? They don't even draw that many cards. They have a lot of filtering. Let me go ahead and put Narset back. You know, mana had been functioning pretty well up until this point. And the toughest matchup for blue-white control, blue-red stuff, we get screwed over on the lands in the last one. That's nice. I'm not going to drop Rip just yet. I have two Absorbs, so I'm going to hold those. Ah, you bastard. Alright, still going to hold my counter spells. Storm away. I know he has a lot of counter spells post um, board, so combined with his memory lapses and whatnot. So that's why I was totally fine with bottoming Narset. The fact that I also needed to put back two cards. She's. You don't want to. Like, they can play it so much at instant speed. That tapping out against them is almost a death sentence, especially when you're behind so hard on mana. For whatever reason. There's 25 lands in the deck, but you couldn't tell. But given that I had to go to two, go to five, because there was one land in the first hand and then two lands in the second hand, but a bunch of expensive shit. Whatever. Still gonna hold the absorb. This is like they can slam a gear hulk here. Whatever. Will they? I don't know. Because they don't want to play into my spells, but the fact that they have such powerful shit that they can play on my turn, that's why this is a horrible matchup. And I'll attack. Fuck it. Because now they can just play a gear hulk. I counter the gear hulk and then they go dragon and then I die. The only good thing is, I don't think this deck beats the aggro decks very effectively, or at all. So they kind of just exist in that weird spot of fucking over control decks. That's basically all it does. So whatever. This gets countered, yeah we lost. Oh, we lost real hardcore right there. We lost big. We're so fucked. Stop printing shit like this, please. You don't give us actual counter spells. Stop printing counter spells that explicitly fuck over control decks, you fucking assholes. And now when I go to cast it out, I get hit with a memory lapse. Three times in a row. Yay. Alright. Well, there's some... There's some of that. Now I can at least counter the memory lapse. Well, they didn't have one. Shock. Because last time they hit me with three of them. When I went to fucking kill that thing. Two or three. Back to back. Alright. Alright. I'm still not in it. Look how, like, seven... No, eight mana to five. Man. Pretty sure it's over. Decent attempt. Not really. The first match was better. Uh, this match... Like, I, I can't win this match. Doesn't good. Yeah, game's over. Might as well just stick this. Just uh, I mean, I don't think this matters. The cards that I had in, I cut for this aren't that big of a deal. 
so it's probably fine. It's just like this is good because it shows why you shouldn't bring in rest in peace very often. So I can't beat this. They are gonna draw a ton of cards and then just counter my stuff, and it's it's over. So yeah, this is why I like uh, Esper Control. The removal's better. Um, yeah. Maybe I'm a god awful control player. Maybe I'm just really bad at magic. That actually could be a thing. So. I'll play one more. I want to try to end on a win. I'm gonna put back the field, I guess. Could put, I'm gonna put back castle. I don't know that I'll need this. This way, if I need the second blue, if I don't draw one, I can field potentially. Yeah, and it's not that big of a deal if it's a deck with a lot of basics. The white mana is effectively colorless anyway when I have a double blue counterspell in hand. Blue white control. I don't know why people play irrigated farmland, but. Cool. I don't might get some use out of the sensor. I I'll get use out of the field of ruin. I'm not, I didn't play this because I don't, if he plays Narset, I just censor it. So I, I don't have any need to hold up Absorb in that spot in particular. So that's why I just played the Field of Ruin. I guess to be 100% optimal, I could have played it. And then that way, I would have a way to play around or to counter an R set next turn. But I mean, that is so niche, I, I'm not even gonna bother with it. Mega 2-2. Two, two. Usually the first one to get the Typhoons going is the one who wins these matchups. It's part of the reason why I hate this card. It doesn't do jack shit against um, non-control decks. And against the control deck, it just becomes all about this for the most part. And in uh, older formats, it's all about Little Teferi. The only thing, like in modern, for example, control is basically dead. So you don't really have to worry about that. You're, you'll almost never see another control deck. So there's that. But in this format, the shark type is really... Uh, this does it to a lesser extent, but this only makes 1-1s, one -ones, and it requires a hefty mana investment. So I'm, I'm fine with this card. Shark Typhoon is just kind of annoying. Yeah, he got the bigger shark. I do have a 5-point life lead and a token lead, so there's that. And if he plays a Teferi, I get to counter the Teferi, and then potentially counter one of his counter spells if he has one. So I'm definitely ahead here. I click through my end step there like a retard. So I don't get to make a token. That was bad. I was anticipating him attacking. Uh, so I just clicked through like he was going to attack me. He did not. And I, I just fucked up. And Alright. You get the idea. Oh, well, we don't even have this now, so we're fucked. We lost. Yay. Cool. At least I got lands. I'm not attacking. Um, I'll just make another token when he goes to blow up my castle. Do 
Do I want to spend five mana to do this? Yeah, probably. Yeah, because I get to go and get a land. What the hell? I'm almost out of basics. Spell now, so I'm just cycling it. I think this card, like honestly, sensor is an awful magic card. Excuse me. I'm not attacking because like he'll just make more tokens than I can deal with. He doesn't have to do anything. All he has to do is make a token every turn. And I mean, I'll eventually lose to that. So if he's smart, he just won't do anything. He'll just build up a token army and yeah. Mm-hmm. Doesn't have to do anything. Yep. Now, if I play Teferi, I just go shields down, essentially, and then I die to his Teferi. But he's making tokens, so I am going to have to be the one to act first. And then I lose. So that's nice. That's, that's fucking nice. I play three Field of Ruin, can't draw any of them. If I could get rid of this... Uh, nope, I draw all the lands but the... Alright, second castle gives me a chance. Second castle gives me a chance. I have double counter spells up. And now I have a castle again. And I do have the slight edge on the tokens. So, cool. Double counter spell is what's nice here. It is double counter spell, right? One, two, three. No, it's one counter spell. Fuck. Alright, well, he's been reluctant to do anything, so hopefully. Uh, one one thing goes well for me, and my opponent does it better. Yeah. All right. Uh, now I have double counter spells up. Yeah, I'm making a token. Attacking just seems so terrible here, but. If he wants to trade them off, that's fine. If not, that's also fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. So, clean sweep for everybody. Well, I guess he has the shark, but... Probably shouldn't have attacked with the shark, to be honest. I don't, I don't fucking care. Yep. Double tokens. I lose. Game over. I don't know why you would even bother playing this. You can make two tokens a turn. You have every advantage in the world. Why are you playing Teferi? Now I need like double Field of Ruin. 
Dark Typhoon is nice. That does help. I'm not playing Teferi. I'm likely just cycling for a big ass shark token and a turn. I'll take five damage. Five, eight, ten, twelve mana up. Seven, yeah, twelve mana. If he plays a big Teferi, I will counter it. But otherwise, I'm just making a 12-12. He should not have any instant speed way to deal with it. I guess cast out, but... Shit. Alright, so I'm gonna leave up three. Alright, well, no, I can't do that. I can, but then I have to kill the Teferi. Oh, uh, hell. Fuck it. Let's count as it's a fairy. I can still make a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, 7-7. Seven, because seven, I had 12 and I used 3. So I can make a 7-7 seven, seven shark. If he has cast out, then I'm really just fucked. Basically, because I doubt that Teferi's gonna resolve. He's probably got a bunch of memory laps he hasn't used. At least I can blow up the castle. Alright. I'll attack because if it works, I can totally race him. I don't want to play a Teferi, to be honest. Blow up the castle. Make a token. Good thing that auto tapped. Do I want to play a Narset? I think I will, because I can hold up a bunch of mana. Like, six mana, eight mana with the Narset. If he counters Narset, then I'm going to consider playing to Barry. Yeah, I'm gonna play the fairy. I'm going to uptake the fairy. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna play an arset. I had more mana than I thought I did. Hmm. I'm gonna take the shark typhoon. That was a mistake. Unless he has some way to deal with my shark. Opponent should have just gone at my face. Because going at my face would have forced me to down tick to ferry on a token. And then... What? Alright, well if you can't answer my shark, I'm just going to beat you to death. Why are control decks playing time warp now? This is, uh, alright, well, I lose. I was not at all expecting that fucking time warp. God damn it. Like, just. Uh... Well, now suddenly everything he's done makes sense. Okay. Alright, whatever. Fuck off, dude. Like... I mean, 
at least, uh, yeah, all right, I'm, yeah, I'm dead. He kills Narset, he draws the time warp, he plays the time warp again, and then more bullshit happens. Yay. All right, so I'm not, I'm not fucking like doing that. All right. Sensor loses so much value so quickly, I'm going to cut it. And I'll cut one wrath. I do want some wraths. I'm going to maybe cut it to fairy. I don't want to get overran by tokens. You don't need that much to fairy. I want a couple baffling in for early shark tokens that are like 3 threes. Yeah. And sensor is just... It loses so much value. I'm not going to keep it in. Well, sorry, Vroom, that this has turned into a complete uh, shit fest. But, you know, like that's magic, I guess. That's how all this shit works. I haven't really played against any, like, meta decks, though, so, with that in mind, um, the closest one was the very first one against Red Black, and then it was, uh, Blue Red, which the first matchup was competitive, but, um, uh, then it was Ponza, and I refused to play against it. And then now, then we had blue red again, and that was not at all competitive that time. But that is a really tough matchup. Blue red control has always been tough for blue white because they tend to operate at flash speed. And I mean, honestly, they're card for card. They just have better cards than we do at blue white. Like our best card is a three and a half year old planeswalker, and like that's it. Like, their best card is the dragon, the uncounterable giant thing, the other uncounterable dragon guy, Niv. And, like, they have better cantrips. They just have better cards than blue-white control card for card, basically. So it's a tough matchup. Tough matchup. And now we're playing against this, and everything was going fine. We, uh, navigated quite nicely through all the bullshit. We're about to take control of the game, and then Time Warp out of nowhere just kind of, like, fucked me over. So, yeah. Who expects Time Warp out of blue-white control? I don't. But there it was. It's usually terrible, but no, there it was. It was exactly what the opponent needed. And then he followed that up with a Mystic Sanctuary. So it's like, everything was going fine like I said turned the corner navigated perfectly everything was fine and then suddenly it wasn't so I mean there's not anything you can really do about that it is what it is I guess if I had a Dovin's Veto it would have been fine because I did have the two mana up but I did not hit the vetoes I don't have vetoes in the main deck that's why yeah never mind I don't want to play Teferi without being able to counter back and then have them play Teferi. Ideally, they'll just slam their Teferi and then I'll veto and play my Teferi. That's not going to happen. Um, yeah, I can go to the graveyard. I'm the first one to White Castle. But unfortunately, the motherfucking field of ruin. The only reason I drew the castle is because my opponent had the answer for it. Do I want to play Teferi with veto? No, because I, I don't, I'm not convinced I can beat their counter to fairy, to be honest. So I'm not, I'm not going to do it.
All right, like on arena, there's no excuse for mismatched basics. Like, what the hell are you doing, dude? Seriously, I don't know. That just annoys me. get some more counter spells please I mean that works that works just make a the casual five five I'm waiting to hopefully ensure that I get a shot in with the shark. Is Mystic Sanctuary worth playing in this format? Probably not. Most of your spells are not that impactful. There's no cryptic commands. Not that that was even that great anyway. People like to you know, make out like it was, but it, it really wasn't that big of a deal. I got another castle, that's good. That is good. Might win this one. And I finally hit another counter spell. I'm attacking because I can race him, and because I have the big ass shark token and the castle, he either has to have a bigger shark token, which he could have, or he's got to be able to immediately answer the shark or just start playing things. I can answer this, so I will. I do, I do like playing this card in blue-white. I think you need at least one. It's nice utility, and the reshuffle can be very relevant. And then when combined with Narset, it can honestly just end the game. Do I want to counter this? I don't know. If he has a Teferi, he down ticks on the shark. I can answer his shark. He, he can go ahead and kill my shark. That's fine. He's burning two cards to do it. Like, all right, whatever. If I had more counter spells, I would have fought over that, but only having the one, I want to try to hit it to vary with it. If he doesn't have it to vary, I can still make a token and I can still get rid of his shark. So it's not that big of a loss to lose my five, five. I still have two or three more Shark Typhoons, so it should be fine. This is going to be another long ass video, so hope you all don't mind. It's probably going to be like two hours long. Really considering counterspelling this? I'm gonna memory lapse it. My opponent's really good at drawing his counterspells, I tell you. Get my fucking ass kicked because of it. Now oh, I drew two out of twenty cards. I know it says forty-one, but that's because I got. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, 
He didn't put it back on top, so he did that wrong. He should have probably let that go on top, just to fuck with my draws even more. That's what I would have done. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I gained the three life. That's also relevant, though. When you're trying to kill me with a shark token, you should have probably just hit that. Because, like, he memory lapsed it, and... Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. I might have... Yeah, I, I fucked up. That's not what happened. Narset. Am I gonna hit with the combo? The wombo combo? Alright, I'm done. Game over. Yeah, wombo combo. Fucked up. Alright, so one and four with blue-white control. Granted, uh, no meta decks were faced. Uh, blue-white is not a, a meta deck. Especially not with Time Warp and a bunch of other weird shit, potentially. So, that was, uh, let me go over this list. This is what I meant to do. Okay, so, I didn't make too many changes, just the authority of the consoles, which I don't have, and then the, the farmland. And then, in place of the authorities, I brought in the second search and the third Narset. Um, as far as the rest in peace and the graph diggers cage, I just swapped them with the saw cummings that Broom had in the sideboard. So that's all I did there. Okay, so how I would build blue white control going forward in this format. I think 25 lands is fine. Okay. And then we're going to want some Teferis. Because you want to play some Teferis. I don't think you want five or four Teferis, to be honest with you. He's clunky. He can be clunky as all hell. I don't think you want four anymore. You do want Absorbs. Maybe a Veto, but I'll get to that in a minute. You want memory lapse over sensor absolutely all the time. You want some backup counter spell. I like saw it coming. Um, I was playing disallow, but this combos very nicely with the fairy. You know what? Let's go ahead and play the fourth fairy. What the hell? Okay, Narset. You gotta have Narset because graveyard stuff, and everybody's drawing a billion motherfucking cards. I like two of these, that's a personal choice, but I would play no fewer than one. Removal, our removal sucks, right? So we gotta take the best ones that we have. Oops. Man, how the hell, I'm not used, I'm still not great at typing on a keyboard, so excuse the, the slop. All right, breath. I do wanna split this with a doom scar. Just for that. Yeah. I don't think you need Day of Judgment, but. Like, Meddling Mage is a card, but it's it's not really. It's not really a card. It's kind of a card, but not really. Um, I like a Blue Sun Zenith. Okay. Right. We're not specific enough. There we go. As a one off. Search for his cons is really good. Yep. I want search. Do we play a cantrip? Do we play... Brainstorm. I don't think so. I think Brainstorm is bad with so much Narset running around. 
Yeah, that's why I don't like playing uh, Brainstorm. Cantrips in general. I know, you can say, but you have the blue sun zenith. Yeah, I do. But I would rather have a blue sun than a, uh, a brainstorm any, any day of the week. Um, I could play brainstorm, but then I have to cut a search, probably a saw it coming, a teferi, probably a blue sun, you know what I mean? Like, I make a lot of cuts, and I don't really care to do that. It's, like, you could get locked out, or you could, your opponent could have an set in play, and it just sits in your hand for, like, five turns until you can deal with it, and then you die. So I don't, I don't like that. And as much as I don't like a certain thing, we are going to play that certain thing in the main, because realistically, when you go up against other control decks, you just need to, like, smash them, and this will do that. So, that's the 60 that I'm going to be playing, if I play anymore. Um, yeah, pretty much. The cast out's a little slow. It's not great against aggro decks. And so, against control, Shark Typhoon answers their Planeswalkers better. So that's part of the reason why, that's another, like I say, I'm not playing cast out, so we are playing the Shark Typhoon. This is also a bit of a cantrip. So yeah, Declaration of Stone's the best removal spell we have access to, so play it over all the other ones. I I probably could have taken a game off of Blue Red if Baffling End had been Declaration of Stone. Now, sideboard. Gotta have rips. You probably want Cage, too. A veto. Probably three. Mystical Dispute, as much as I loathe it. Should probably have a couple of those. What else do we want? Blue-white sideboards, they're not... You know, timely reinforcements. Probably just two. And then for the really aggressive decks, we probably want... A glass Casket, or baffling end or maybe even seal away seal away is probably better against the really aggressive decks but I'm just gonna say settle the wreckage that's a flex slot in my opinion these are the main cards that's what I would all right so this is what I play for blue white control um, yeah it's just I don't know this configuration is more or less has always worked pretty well for me so we have like 11 counter spells, some potent um, dig effects, search effects, whatever. Another counter spell and removal spell. We have the best board wipes, the best spot removal spell in our color, and then the, the shark typhoons to do stuff with. 25 lands, and then a blue sun zenith for more card advantage. Yep. And I've even geared it more towards other control decks by including Shark Type Moon. So, that's how I play it. I think Memory Lapse is an amazing card. And every control deck should be on four of them. Yeah, I don't really have anything more to say about it. That's just, if you want to play blue-white control, I would play this. I mean, maybe you could try playing a Gabriel Nassif deck. Or that, uh, um, what the hell was his name? Brad something something won a tournament some many months ago with blue white. Um, you could try playing his version, but it, it's not worked out very well for me. So yeah, I'll be playing this the next time I play blue white control. Um, it's just a. Slightly more tweaked version of the last one. Um, Blue White uh, 3, I guess. I'll just give it that name. Memory Lapse. I like the artwork. That's going to be the front card there. But yeah, that's Vroom's 2. Vroom Productions. His second deck list. Sorry that the 
the thing was shit. Uh, one and four is awful. I think that's what I went with the Urion list. Um, it's probably me. I'm probably not very good at the game. And um, I'm probably just misplaying horribly. Something like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like... <sighs> yeah, that just... I hate, you know, when it goes like that, but... Um, I'll put it out there, because I told him in the comments earlier that I'd play a stack, so... Yeah, sorry that it's it was such a shitty performance, but... Alright, as always, next time. Next time will probably be Jeskai. Like I said, I'm never playing blue-black. Uh, maybe blue-red, but blue-black is a guaranteed no for me. I went from rank 3 diamond, like, almost to rank 2 diamond down to 4 with blue-black. And it was just like, eh, no, I'm not playing it. So, but blue-red, I think, um, if you have a blue-red list, um, leave that dude who asked me about playing blue-black and blue-red. I forget your name. If you have a blue-red list, leave it, and I'll check it out. Next video is likely going to be Jeskai. So, yeah, and I'll get that off of Goldfish. I'll actually play a winning list instead of my own thing. So, yeah. I have a good one.